Big game breakdown time. Let's talk early start Friday action. This one tips off while we're on air doing Wager Talk today live every weekday, 9 a.m. here on the left coast. New for you back east. Right now, look at the Wager Talk live odds screen. Florida Atlantic minus three. There are three and a half that are starting to pop up. Total sitting in the 141 and a half range with the Owls over the Wildcats. Let me give you guys a promo code real quick. Teddy7. Going to get you 30 bucks off a seven day pass at checkout right now. The time is get a seven, get it all access. Uh, don't try to buy individual plays, that would be my advice. And Teddy Seven again, 30 bucks off a seven day all access pass. Just type in that promo code at checkout. So, FAU was a final four team last year. You know, they lost on a buzzer beater 72 71 to San Diego State. You know, but certainly a team with a pretty good pedigree. And already this season, you know, FAU had a great non-conference. They beat Arizona right before Christmas. They've been favored in every game since. They're below 50% ATS as single-digit chalk, minus 9.5 or lower. 7-14 and 14 ATS overall. They've been consistently overvalued. And frankly, it should be 6-15 and 15 instead of 7-14 and 14 ATS. But they did cover minus 7.5 in overtime against Wichita. So this team has been a consistently overvalued commodity. Who they've been beating. They had a couple of wins and covered against North Texas during that span. They beat Memphis by eight on senior day, a seven and a half point favorites, got the cover by a hook. But the other wins and covers, Tulsa, Rice, SMU, when they collapsed down the stretch, that's not much for three months of work. They got upset by Temple in the semifinals of the AAC conference. And from a power rating perspective, again, this team was favored over Illinois. You know, they were minus two and a half they on a neutral against Illinois. They lost that game uh, by nine at Madison Square Garden. There's no power rating bargains for FAU. Northwestern just earned back-to-back bids for the first time in school history. They have UConn coming up next. So it's a one-game scenario for either of these two teams. All right. But make no mistake about it. All right. This is a Wildcats team that has been routinely undervalued in the marketplace. Oh, it's Northwest. Oh, the Big Ten's not good this year. Northwestern had a good season, though the Big Ten's not good. It's nonsense. All right. Chris Collins, sharp coach. Went the first time. We didn't do it as well as the next year. That was a fluke. We did it last year and everything was going to be like it was the time before. These guys refuse to believe in that narrative. We're writing our own story. All they've done all year is just show up every day and work their butts off. Boo Booey is a great name. He's easy to root for. All right. And it's not just Boo Booey. An experienced Northwestern team. Three other players averaging double figures. They've been really good in tight games. I'll take the points. Give me the Wildcats. Plus three and a half you can find right now. And that's your big game breakdown. Early start action for Friday. 